Hello and welcome back to the X Lounge. In this video we are going to review AMT's Jimmy. It is kit number 1219. These molds have been around since the 70s, uh, 1970, uh, according to scale mates. This one I have already been into at some other point. So the plastic is off of it completely. As we can see from the back, these are the things we can expect to see when we get in there. So on the top is the chrome tree. Uh, all the chrome plating looks okay, looks good. parts themselves look okay all the uh, looks like everything's there I don't see much flash there's a couple little uh, sand marks you know uh, what looks to be little bits of sand or whatever underneath the surface of the of the chrome not a lot though so there's some engine parts and grill parts and over here there's a little toolbox and a couple of construction helmets so those are fun little twists here are the tires which I'm going to leave in the bag and some axles uh, there's some like racing slicks there's four of those that's interesting and then four stock tires that have pretty nice looking tread on them. The racing slicks are marked Race Master. The stock tires aren't marked at all. Here's the windshields. No blemishes. Nope, you know what? That one has something on it. Right there. I don't know. I can actually feel it through the bag. It's, it might be a little lump. And that looks to be a scratch right there. So, yeah, those, those two items will take a little bit of... Take a little bit of work. So there we have the top, a little bit of that weird uh, plastic stain that shows up on them every now and again. There's an, uh, there's an air filter housing. <coughs> Parts look pretty good. Uh, I guess that's a feature, yeah that's, I'm not gonna, uh, there's this, this line here I thought maybe it was something to be worked on but it's part of the, it's part of the top. Nice texture on there, feels just like vinyl. Uh, ooh. This uh, rear windshield frame is bent bigger than all get out. That'll have to be. Oof. I might uh, take that off of there now and repackage that. That got that got bent pretty bad. So there's the other another tree bench seats and uh, bucket seats a pretty cool uh, pattern on them kind of a southwestern looking thing this one's got some factory dirt on it tailgate and the hood which is uh, what, are, what would you call that I guess pre-cut which is something that's going to show up whenever you paint that if you don't want to cut that out that's going to ghost. You're going to have to primer that and check it and sand where necessary. Uh, some interior parts there. Or what is it? I don't know what that is. There's a console. There's a, uh, a steel, probably for the spare. 
It's got a whole lot of factory dust in it. <clears throat> Here's our frame. It's got some flash on it. A couple of exhaust pipes. There's our body. Got a little bit of kind of a wood trim look there. A little bit of a little bit of grit. A couple of imperfections there. Some stuff that not nothing major, but something that's going to take a little bit of need a little bit of attention. Wires molded into the front of that. Very faint detail on the firewall. Everything looks straight though. Here's your interior. Got some push marks on the top of the wheel wells. That's no big deal to take off of right there. And there's a couple of push marks down in there. They are pretty faint though. <clears throat> Probably once it's in the vehicle, nobody would notice. Uh, the texture on there looks like uh, looks like a rubber panel that you would find on the bottom of a vehicle like this. The uh, side panels are a little light on detail, but there's stuff there. Oh, the bottom has got detail as well. <clears throat> that is marked. Uh, 2021. I probably got this in. No, I got this. this I probably got this in 23. I haven't had it too awful long. <clears throat> Some suspension parts. Dashboard looks pretty fun. More factory dirt. Man, these parts are kind of grubby. Those headers look about half. Something's wrong with that header there. Look at that. Yeah, that isn't fully formed. That is a bad part. <coughs> okay, next up is the decals. a couple names there Swamp Gasser Four Wheelie Drive and Jimbo and Top Jimmy uh, I guess the Swamp Gasser and the Jimbo you could use on uh, other gassers or other uh, race cars there's the uh, dash some dash uh, decals I like that A whole bunch of license plates, a couple sponsors and part part stickers. Okay, so that's that. Struck 
instructions are exactly the size of the box and don't want to come out. <clears throat> okay, so here's what you get for instructions. This kit's got more parts than most. I think it's mostly uh, there's extra undercarriage stuff because all the four-wheel drive gear. Got drag shoes. Okay, so that does it for our review of the AMT's GMC Jimmy 1972 model. I did find a few problems with this one. The windshield scratched, the back window frame is bent, one of the headers is short poured, and there is factory grit on probably 80% of the trees. Nothing that will keep this from being an awesome model in the end just some things that are setbacks I wouldn't let it stop me from buying another one nor should you okay that does it subscribe if you would like hit that bell notification and you will be notified when my next video is released thanks for watching Party.